Um, I'm not even supposed to be doing a boxing video right now. I'm supposed to be um, doing manual labor. You know, I wasn't even supposed to be doing this manual labor stuff, but uh, I'm reflooring my house in the back. You know, as you can see, I'm just reflooring. I know you see that front section. I'm going to explain this front section. So I know you want to hear about boxing, but hear me vent. Just hear me out for a little bit. Um, I, I wanted to, you know, I got my towel guy. My towel guy is coming out and redoing all the floors. He's, he's knocking out the floors. So we're going section by section. He already has it mapped out. He has it all lined up, and he started laying some of the tile and stuff like that. But there was this one section in the front section that the, the, the tile was a little off. It was the same pattern scheme and everything. same It matched and everything, but it was a little bigger. So I was just like, man, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and take it out. So I decided to do, you know, do it myself because that's what Home Depot says. The Home Depot says, you know what? Do it yourself. The projects, you can go ahead and do it yourself. So... Like shit, why not? You know, the guy at Home Depot was telling me that you know, you, you know, just grab a hammer, like this. Grab a hammer, start banging. You know, a ceramic tile, ceramic tile is is uh, is fragile. You know, just as soon as you bang it, it'll crack and you can pull it out. So that's what I started doing. You know, I started banging it, I started cracking it, and come on, man, this is <laughs> the guy made it sound so easy. I took this big ass hammer and I'm sitting there banging it, watch this banging it. Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. It's just chipping the shit out of you. Shit's just flying all over the place. I use this little uh, chisel, whatever. Chisel helps a little bit, but you're, 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 you're moving inches. But anyways, long story short, I don't even want to talk about that. I, you know, I apologize. I know, like I said, I know you guys want me to talk about boxing, but this is a manual layer. No, I'll never, ever in my whole entire life do this shit again. Take your ass to Home Depot. Rent a machine. I'm pretty sure they got a machine. Just don't do it. You know, don't do it whatsoever. But anyways, you guys can see what exactly what I'm talking about. So, um, the whole entire floor. So yeah, you can see that he started um, laying it out. Anyways, long story short, let's let's talk boxing. All right. Let's talk about um, Manny Pacquiao versus Juan Manuel Marquez. Four. Um, a lot of. A lot of talk, a lot of hostility going on. And Marquez, Marquez isn't backing down. He said he's looking out, you know, he's looking this time to knock out Manny Pacquiao December 8th. Um, and it's going to happen in Vegas. Where it's going to happen is definitely going to happen in Vegas. And Vegas is the, the town that robbed Manny Pacquiao with the Timothy Bradley fight. Uh, Marquez, you guys already know he's 54 and 6, 39 KOs. Pacquiao is 54 and 4 with 38 KOs. Um, and he, they're asking for neutral drudges, you know. Marquez is not looking for any excuses whatsoever. He requested neutral drudges, so he actually has a Mexican, he has a Filipino, and the other one, I, I really couldn't tell you. But anyways, it, it was actually granted. Um, but as far as Manny Pacquiao, Manny Pacquiao hasn't really said too much whatsoever. Um, last time I heard about Manny Pacquiao was the defamation character um, lawsuit against Mayweather, which he won. Um, and, you know, he, he, he mentioned his past um, against his last several fights. He was saying, you know, Pacquiao was basically acknowledging that new, there's numerous occasions that he wasn't on top of his game, especially last November when he fought Marquez. Um, and there, there's just a lot of different reasons, you know, professional, personal reasons. Um, and it, it lacked a lot of his concentration and his commitment um, to beat an opponent to the caliber of Marquez, you know. Um, and he said the same thing about the Bradley fight. Um, look, you know, Pacquiao, Pacquiao's a hell of a fighter. Pacquiao's a hell of a fighter. And, uh, you know, he, and he, he seems like a real humble dude. He does a lot of great things and stuff like that. But when he starts talking like that and making excuses and stuff like that, I, I really, it really gets under my skin. And it's not because it's Manny Pacquiao. It could be anybody. It could be Amir Khan. It could be Timothy Bradley. It could be anybody out there. You know, if they start laying out excuses, you know what? I wasn't ready. I wasn't prepared at my training camp. Um, I just wasn't physically ready or mentally ready. But if, if you look back when before the fight, right before the fight, oh, you know what? Manny Pacquiao, he's in his greatest shape in his life. You know, he's determined. He's ready. He wants it more than anything. Um, and you hear Freddie Roach and then. And Alex Arizzi is saying, yeah, is, you know, Pacquiao's going to dominate. And as soon as the fight's over, you know what? He, he overtrained. 
or he did. Well, anyways, I don't even want to get into that. But I just, I, I just don't like when I when I hear stuff like that about the past, and you know, he wasn't ready, and now he's ready. But you know, the, the, these, it's it's four fights that they they fought in the past, so it's kind of it's kind of um, over promoting these fights, and you have the tendency to, you know, boxing fans. I, I remember. All, all the the key promotions and the key topics and the key things that were um, striking interest. You know, they were sitting there saying, you know, he's dedicated, or you know, he has changed. You know what he um, he has he has a clean lifestyle. You know what he he train. You know he, he it's it's just a bunch. You know, I'm stuttering and stuff like that. But anyways, you know what exactly what I'm talking about. But now he's saying he's prepared. He's focused. He wants it. You know, it's stuff. It's the fourth fight. I already heard it about a gazillion times. But anyways. Um, same, same went for the, uh, Timothy Bradley fight. I think he did a hell of a job in the Timothy Bradley fight. I honestly thought he won the fight. I know a lot of people and a lot of people were Kenny, you know, not the hell you're talking about. Um, this, you know, Timothy Bradley won that fight, put it on mute, put it on whatever. But anyways, guys, look, take my opinion completely out of it. You know, HBO reported, you know, 91%. Of the people who viewed the Timothy Bradley and Manny Pacquiao fight had Pacquiao. Ninety-one percent of the people said Manny Pacquiao won, while seven percent believed that uh, um, Bradley won, and the other two percent said that you know it's a draw. But you know, it, honestly, if I was in that situation, I thought uh, Timothy Bradley won, and ninety-one of a hundred people. Uh, said that many, you know, I'll, I'll think twice about my opinion, you know, I'm like, damn, you know what, uh, shit, maybe, maybe I am wrong, but there's a lot of people out there that die hard Timothy Bradley fans, and they're sitting there saying, you know what, Timothy Bradley won that fight, but anyways, I, I really don't want to get into that, let's talk about Manny Pacquiao and Marquez, um, anyways, uh, Manny Pacquiao's camp is aware that the fight's going to take place in, in December, these guys are already aware of it, and they, they're, they're aware of, um, what's on the, what's on the line, you know, what's on the line with this. Coming off of Timothy Bradley loss, it's going to be huge for Manny Pacquiao. He, he definitely needs to come out with a victory. Um, and he, he vows, um, he guarantees that he's going to do a lot better. Now, these guys, these guys have been clashing. These guys, you know, styles make fights. And these guys' styles make a great fight. And it's very competitive. And it's getting, it's getting closer and closer every single time. In 2004, I know there's a lot of controversy. A lot of people saying, you know what, Marquez won all three fights. Um... I really think in 2004, Manny Pacquiao won that fight. You know, um, Manny Pacquiao showed left-hand power, his blazing speed, and he overwhelmed Marquez. Um, and, you know, Marquez did rally back, but I just think the damage had already been done. And in 2008, I, I, I considered that a, a draw, you know. If anything, um, I considered it a draw. You know, I think, uh, again, um, at that time, matter of fact, it was the best of, best of the best performances I've seen from the both of them. They were both in their prime. Um, they were on the top of their game. And it was it was a good explosive match. You know, once again, that uh, Marquez was wonderful with the counter punching, and it was effective the whole entire fight. Uh, but Pacquiao, Pacquiao, he was the aggressor. He was completely the aggressor. Um, and I, I gave it a draw. The second fight, I, I think it was a draw. Now, the third fight um, last year, um, I, it's a 50-50 coin toss. You know, it just depends on how, how you view the fight. Manny Pacquiao was the aggressor. He threw a lot more punches. He, he brought the A game. He brought the fight. Um, and he, he brought the action, whereas um, Marquez, Marquez was the counter puncher. Um, he wasn't the aggressor whatsoever, but he landed the, the more um, bigger, clean shots. Did he land more shots? No, I don't think he landed more shots. I think Manny Pacquiao outpunched him. But power punches-wise, I think Marquez landed more power punches. He looked like he controlled the fight a little bit, and um, he looked a lot clean. You know, he looked a lot more smooth. You know, Pacquiao looked a little bit more uncomfortable, but he was the aggressor. So it depends on how, how you view the fight. So, you know, I see why Manny Pacquiao won that fight, but I also see why a lot of people say Marquez won that fight. So it's, it's definitely it's going to be exciting to see these guys um, give it all they got because, you know what, there's a lot on stake. You know, there's a lot of uh, – understandably – um, there's a lot on the line, you know, um, and a lot of people know that Manny Pacquiao, he hasn't, you know, he hasn't recorded a knockout in the last three years, you know, um, and a lot of people feel like Manny Pacquiao is deteriorating, you know, Marquez is getting older, Pacquiao is getting older, we remember Manny Pacquiao to be the great champ, you know, in his last fights, you know, we, 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 we see him as, not, you know, the knockout artist, 
you know, but a lot of people get upset if he's not knocked. I, I think he's doing a hell of a job. He's doing a hell of a performance, but it seems like everyone wants, he wants, everyone wants that knockout. Um, but, you know, a lot of people are also saying that Manny Pacquiao's distractions. He has all these distractions and everything's going on. Um, Freddie Roach went, quote, unquote, saying that uh, Manny got rid of all that stuff in his, his life. Um, and he, he moved on. This is a new this is a new chapter in his life. And, you know, he's a he's a better person. He's a better man. And he's definitely a better boxer. But anyways, Marquez, Marquez confident he's going for a knockout and to end it, put it behind it. But anyways, um, this fight has to end in a knockout. It completely has to end in a knockout. I can't go to the scorecards. It's like, um, it's just going to it's going to be a ne never ending um, debate on who won the fight. So I think December 8th is going to be a very interesting fight. Um, what's my fight predictions? I think Manny Pacquiao is going to do the damn thing and he's going to um, pull out the victory, you know. But anyways, guys, this is Kenneth Despie in boxing. I apologize as far as venting, as far as winning the tile. Guys, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think Manny Pacquiao is going to win this fight? Do you think he's going to be the old Manny Pacquiao? Do you think he's going to pull out the knockout? Or do you think Juan Marquez is actually going to um, be a... Uh, a specialist and dissect Manny Pacquiao coming into this fourth fight and he has the formula to uh, to put Pacquiao away anyways guys uh, friend request um, subscribe have a good one